right? Y is equal to zero. And we're going to substitute into equation number four. So therefore, we get C4 is equal to zero. Okay. So from here, we write up EIY is equal to minus omega naught X5 over 120L plus by omega naught L X cubed over 36 plus by C3X because C4 is equal to zero. This is our equation for A. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to substitute X is equal to L, right? Y is equal to zero. Now we're going to substitute into equation for A, right? So from here, we have zero is equal to minus omega naught L4 over 120 plus by omega naught L4 over 36 plus by C3L, okay? So C3 will be equal to 1 over 120 minus 1 over 36. It's equal to minus 7 over 360. Omega not L cube. Okay. So that is our C3. So therefore, EIY. is equal to uh, minus omega naught x5 over 120L plus by omega naught Lx cubed over 36 minus by 7 over 360 omega naught L cubed and x. Okay, and then y as a function of x is equal to 1 over ei. And then the whole thing. Okay. Okay. That is the whole equation. Now, this is not the only way to solve it. Okay. So I'm going to do another another way. That that you that that you can also use. Okay. The thing that's different now is you can use also from from left to right. Yes or no? Right. Let, 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 let's say now we want to apply things, and I want you all to compare. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to do side by side, and I want you all to compare. Okay. More important thing is uh, the, the 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 compare. Okay, I want I want you all to I want you all to compare and and you this and it's up to you. Okay, there are sometimes that this technique, the integration technique is really really quick. Sometimes it might be not. Okay. Now, let's. So I'm going to I'm going to uh start. I'm going to be fair. Okay, so we can see the number of lines to be written. Okay, so I'm going to be fair. So I'm going to write from here. So we're going to find. Right, uh, or, or, or we are going to apply, okay, apply positive shear, okay, apply positive shear and positive bending moment. Right. So you, you for this case you still have to find the reaction at point A. Right? We have to. Right? So if we draw a free body diagram. Right? So you know that this is your AY. Over here is your BY. We over here, our equivalent load is omega naught L over 2. So this is our equivalent load. And we know the distance from here to here is L over 3. 
right? The entire distance from here to here is L. Okay, so if we have our transformation, X, Y, rotation in the Z. So from here, we apply static analysis, right? We apply static analysis. Right, so we have uh, some mention about moment Z at point B is equal to zero. So we have, so uh, it's going to rotate in a uh, anticlockwise manner, the distributed load. So it's omega naught L over two multiplied by L over three, right? And then plus or minus, right? Because it's going in a, a clockwise manner, minus A, y l is equal to zero right so you have a y l or a y is equal to omega naught l over six okay so that is our reaction at point a so then the next thing that we have to find we have to find the equivalent load as a function of x, right? So why we need the equivalent load as a function of x? In the end of the day, what we're trying to do is this, okay? So between a, so, so we're going to do between point a to point b, right? Right, we're going to do uh, between point a to point b. All right, so between point A to point B, we are going to have a uh, positive shear. All right, so we know our point A, or the limit is zero, X to L. All right, so at point A, so we know AY is equal to omega naught L over six. And this is our X, V as a function of X, m as a function of x. Now, we need this to be what? The equivalent load right? To be omega as a function of x also, yes or no? Right? So we have to find the equivalent load as a function of x first, okay? So from here and 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 basically it is like this, okay? So we know Omega as a function of x is equal to omega not L x. Okay, omega not the divided by L multiplied by x. So the equivalent load omega as a function of x is equal to, so you have to integrate, right? So you integrate <coughs> omega as a function of x dx, right? So this will be equal to omega naught x squared over 2L. Okay. So now you know that this is equal to what? This is equal to omega naught x squared over 2L. And the distance from here to here is x over 3. Right? The distance is x over, let me write better, sorry. So we know that this is equal to x over 3, okay? Something changed somewhere. Hold on. I want to see if anything change. It looks good so far. Okay, so it's equal to... So this will be equal to omega naught x squared over 2L. So once you have this, right? Once you have written this, you can you can start doing your uh, static analysis. So going up, right? So you have omega naught L over six minus by omega naught X squared over two L uh, minus V as a function of X is equal to zero. So V as a function of X is equal to uh, minus omega naught x squared 
over 2L plus by omega naught L over 6, right? So, so that is your V as your uh, V as a function of X. So I want to see, is it the same? It should be the same, okay? If it's, if it's different. So V as a function of X is omega naught X squared over 2L. So we found that C1, if you look on the left-hand side, it's also the same. Omega naught L over 6 is also the same, okay? So we found our our CL also, okay? So it's the same. Then the next one, you take your moment. Okay, take your moment. Uh, Z, any distance upon X is equal to zero. So the distributed load is equal to omega naught. Let, let me bring it down so you can see better. So it's equal to uh, omega naught L over 6 is going in a clockwise direction. So it's minus omega. Uh, Microsoft. Coming back. I think I need to get McMaster to buy a better computer. This is crapping out ever so often. Okay. So, um, as I was saying, we're going to take moment as a function of x. So, by looking at the equation, so the, the free body diagram, so this will be equal to minus uh, omega naught L over 6x. Right, and then plus by omega naught x squared over 2L multiplied by x over 3, right? And then uh, plus, uh, something is missing over there. Yeah, it moved, whatever. Okay, then this will be equal to plus by m as a function of x, the whole thing is equal to zero. So now m as a function of x is equal to minus omega naught x cubed over 6L, right? Uh, plus by omega naught L x over 6, right? And that's it, okay? So now, then we apply the elastic curve. So this is equal to EI d squared y over dx squared. So from here on, right, from here on, uh, sorry, I found some problem places, sorry. I don't know why this is here. Probably something moved somewhere just now. My bad. Okay. Okay, I, I I think what's wrong. Okay, so let let, let me uh, write this out again. So positive. Yeah, it's Microsoft stupid thing. Sorry. So this will be equal to uh, omega naught L over six minus by omega naught x squared over two L minus by V as a function of x. The whole thing is zero. That's where the next stage come in. Yep. Okay. Right. So you can see now, right? We we are at I'm going to zoom out for you. I'm going to zoom out for you. 200. Okay. So we are looking at where we are now. Okay. So on the left hand side we just use the pure integration method on the right hand side okay so so after here after this stage over here after this stage over here okay where where i draw the two lines or where i draw the two arrows so this is where on the left hand side that's the technique that we use uh, on the integration just purely integration on the right hand side we are using a uh, positive shear, positive bending moment. You realize that the equation, uh, something move, yeah. The equation is exactly the same. Okay, the equation, let me let me tidy up things over here. 
Okay, it's Microsoft messing around with me. Right, the equation is exactly the same. Okay, so this is M as a function of X is equal to minus omega naught X cubed over 6L um, plus by omega naught L over 6L. 